Lone Firewriter on High TV, your luxury channel. Today we are checking out Life's Good Kitchen. And with me, I have someone uh, who does everything that's good in terms of creativity, in terms of following their passion, in terms of fashion, and so much more. I'm happy to have all the way from London, <laughs> Mr. Panduka. Hello, Panduka. Hi. Thanks for having me. I'm very happy to have you. Uh, you have been someone who has been capturing some great pictures and that's how I got to know you uh, for your photography and your videography. Um, was it a choice that you made to learn it? Uh, it wasn't a choice. It was always like a passion. So I always keep gravitating towards that. Mm. Um, some people know me for different things. So you know me for photography and videography, some yeah. people for the fashion aspect. So it's just always been something uh, that I've done since I was little. But um, always in the field of creativity. That's it, yeah. Anything yeah. creative I'm good at, uh, academic stuff not so much. But you, later on you qualified in everything that needs to be done. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like That's IT, I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm still a... Yeah, you're a bit of a nerdy boy. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you know, uh, if you're wondering, there's a brand called uh, LCY. Yeah, <laughs> That's uh, and you might have seen it, uh, Haiti, they actually covered one of their openings at OGF. So you are the guy who is championing LCY London. That's it. Yeah. So tell me, how did you slip into fashion? So fashion, um, I had a bit of a calling with fashion since at a young age. Was I it a heavenly call? <laughs> <laughs> Not so much with the figure <laughs> I have. But, um, it's always been an interest. Um, I wanted to learn fashion photography. I wanted to, uh, you know, take up uh, textile making when I was young. So, um, photography side, I started out quite young and did the uh, London Fashion Week and things like that. I've shot for Vivian Westwood. So, from those things, um, LCY came into the picture, you know, uh, towards the pandemic um, when, you know, they were looking to expand their businesses. Uh, the company was founded by Mr. Uh, uh, Jeffrey and Mr. Rizan. Uh, they started back uh, in the 90s, you know, selling uh, polos everywhere and then expanded on to, you know, capture all of Sri Lanka. So humble beginnings brought them to where they are today. Yeah, and how did they sort of slip and sort of find you? So I came into the picture uh, when it was a pandemic and uh, uh, their other younger brother, Hussein, uh, me and him are quite into Cl crowd, okay. yeah into cars as well so we got to know each other through that and then worked on some creative projects and then we started talking about how we can take the business globally and how they can expand and you know that's how i came to the picture of giving them a roadmap to take the brand global oh wow because uh now you have been someone who has been exposed to fashion through your photography as well you have shot for some big names that's it. Um, I've shot for London Fashion Week when I was quite young, 18, 19, yeah. uh, for Vivian Westwood, Matthew Williamson. And then it's always been one of those things, once I reach a point, I kind You're of... like, uh, Yeah, uh, that's it. Like if, 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 if these names didn't like sort of take you, you'd be like still trying to like capture a moment and then you're like, I'm yeah. done with them. Now let's just move on to the other one now. That's it. Yeah. It's kind of like once I reach a high point, I want to move on to something right. else. So then I went into graphic design marketing so marketing's kind of been my calling and now I'm you know excelling in that aspect of it and that's where LCY comes in where they just needed a bit more push in terms of how to branch off into different markets sure. and yeah, and also sometimes it's never about creating a good brand it's also about marketing a good brand because you tend to be lost that's it and a lot of brands you know they their main goal is to build a product go to market be profitable they forget the story how mm. to market it how to make it make an emotional connection with the consumer so that part is really crucial this day and age anyway uh, how is fashion in london we know that london fashion week is a big deal there are some brilliant brands that really hail so strong in london um, but you know we always say london is a bit gray uh, how how often would you see a shock color out there oh really like r rarely like even my palette is very monotone, like dull grey, like that is my kind yeah. of preference as well. I guess that comes with the weather as well. I think you'd never really see any like colours out I there. know, I like, would have been wearing yellow throughout, like, okay, I'm the sunshine that London needed. Yeah, that's, that's what we're missing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that's why the Queen is always dressed in, like, 
super bright colors. She and I are in competition. Yeah, now she's gone. Yeah, that's right. Now it's just my no, place. I'm the it. queen in town. <laughs> Fill it with some color. <laughs> yeah, Charles seems to be dull too. <laughs> I, I am gonna hold off my comments. I know, I, I need know. To go back. You're, you have a British citizenship. That's it, yeah, yeah. You can't say anything. All right. Let's get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. We're gonna try this food. As always, you know, uh, Life's Good Kitchen serves good food. I'm telling you. You met the two owners? They're yes, so sweet. They look uh, news about them as well when we do come back. Do stick around. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, it's Dano on Fire. Well, just to let you know, if you're a big fan of Life's Good Kitchen, they are moving to something bigger and better. We just want to keep you informed so that if you are a fan, you could be joining them at their new location. More details very soon. Now, I'm speaking to Panduka about his journey in fashion and what he's championing these days. Let's speak about Sri Lankan brands doing good in London. Now, uh, I know there are a few brands from Lanka that has gone there and uh, some actually have like their flagship stores. Uh, is it hard to penetrate into the fashion market there? It's hard, but if you've got uh, something unique to sell, like a unique selling point, then it's really easy. Um, some brands that are staying true to the he heritage of you know, coming from Sri Lanka, they're doing really well. And also they, um, having a factory there must be harder, but when your back office is here, it's much easier. It's a lot easier. Easier and harder because um, there's a lot of time consuming, you know, talks that goes into production. Mm. That's easier done if you're here and the product is going in sale here. But the whole uh, export process and everything just uh, makes it so much difficult. Yeah, true. Yeah. Well, actually, the red tapes to leave this country is not as hard as bringing it in. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you're bringing it out, then it's easier to bring it in. As yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. Now, a lot of people leave Sri Lanka, so you're also one of those people who left, mm. abandoned the island home. But you want to come here and retire. So yeah, I mean... Um, you want I'm to retire by 40? Who's saying that? Ah, really? No. Uh, ideally. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's go with I that. I just like to say that to people and see what they say. <laughs> 30 ideally, then I'll be done in about a year. <laughs> so anyway, um, I left when I was quite young, like year eight. Uh, my parents migrated over there, and um, so I grew up there, studied there, everything, you know. Um, I kind of shunned off all to do with Sri Lanka for a while, because it's harder to fit in when you're kind of mixed bag of everything. You That's try, true. Yeah, you try to kind of be, oh, uh, I'm now British. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it's easier. So, yeah, going into uni, uh, you know, finishing that, I kind of... So, what did they think, where did, you, where did they think that you're from? Well, it's usually you're Indian, so and right. then there's a and lot what of did they call you, Pandu? Oh, and I, I kind of like went with anything with a P will suffice at this point. Pandu, was anything, I'll just take it. So after a while, um, you know, growing up, you kind of mature and you eventually realize, yeah. okay, home is where the heart is, and yeah. um, that's when I started traveling back home right. and you know exploring Sri Lanka. Even to this day, I still don't know. I only went to Gulf Fort the first time, you know, this right. year. So. Well, you are British now, so technically, I'm. Uh, yeah, yeah but, <laughs> but I, I'm at least happy that you are venturing back into the country again. So yeah, uh, plan is for me to have a home in both ends so that I can you know work there, come here and do a bit of work. So it's a nice um, mix. 
I mean, every time I want to come, everyone here tells me not to come. Mm. Even yourself, you're <laughs> like, why are you here? <laughs> but did you like the fact that you came here? Because I'm sure British media would have carried so much about us in the whole of last year. Yeah. And th certain countries really bought the pressure that the media was giving about Sri Lanka. And that impression sort of is not the true uh, that's, facts. That's it. I'm constantly having to tell my friends, British friends, mm. who wants to come here on holiday, like things are okay. It's you know, safe, yeah, like, that's it. There's food. You're fine to come. True. It's still a lovely place. I mean, I've been here. I've been enjoying it. Everything's been really back to old Sri Lanka for me, at least. Amazing. Now, coming back to your design, um, you know, there was a time when the whole crowded, bright vibrant things were in. Mm. And now even in Sri Lanka, the very simple crew neck t-shirts, polo neck t-shirts really sell well when they're as flat, as plain as it's stable. They just don't want anything on it. Um, what are you keeping in mind when you do design? Because it's going to be a market for both. You're going to have the London version and the Lankan version coming out. So you're going to have, it's going to be one brand catered to two different audiences. Yes, so in Sri Lanka, LCY London will only be at OGF or uh, we're going into Odell, so exclusively at Odell and um, on our website. So that's the only places you will be able to purchase that. So it makes it more streamlined for us being okay. able to cater for a UK audience. Um, in terms of design, where everything we're doing is very minimal in that sense uh, compared to the normal LCY, you know, fashion design, what we're used to here. It's very floral, mm. colory. Those kind of things um, are good in summer settings, but I when know. it comes to winter, autumn, everyone's moody. You look at the weather, everything's grey. You kind of want to fit in. Yeah. So, yeah, it rains every day, more or less. Yeah. True. <laughs> you should come. I know. I know that a lot of people struggle with, like, you know, the ones who have gone from the whole sunny vibe finds it very hard when it's just like, just one tone for a long time. There's good and bad for that, but yeah, I, I get yeah, that. Yeah, like a stable, stable economy. Yeah. Is it? And food. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's that. <laughs> All right. On that note, we need to say goodbye on this segment because on the other side, we're going to come back with something sweet and also more with fun. Welcome back to the show. Our final segment here on Down One Fire in conversation with Panduku. So Panduku, you've also done like music videos for local artists here. How did that start? Um, that actually came from the earlier topic, you know, me wanting to come back to Sri Lanka but being stuck over there. Right. So I started looking through Instagram and listening to a lot of these artists and upcoming singers and all of these. So um, I came across Charitha's work, uh, which I was, I've been a big fan of for like two years, always listening to his stuff. Then uh, through Instagram, you know, I'm posting stuff, he's posting. So it's just interactions and then um, just came on to, you know, working with other artists. So whenever I'm here, I try to work with one or two um, mm. who I'm close to. Um, and then, you know, try to make the most of it. Yeah. Uh, like, I know that there's a huge Sri Lankan community in London. Uh, do you all meet? Are you a part of it? Um, yeah, so even um, our families, we, we are like very interconnected in terms of, but everyone's very spread out. So compared to Sri Lanka where, you know, you can throw a stone and uh, find your family, yeah. that kind of thing. Um, for us, it's having to travel about two hours. So, mm. um, but the Sri Lankan community there is pretty close anyway. Um, but uh, myself, my ties are always kind of leading me back to Sri Lanka. Right. Well, they might have to fly back to see you now. I mm. <laughs> uh, wanted to ask you, uh, now, this element of fashion, not everyone has the place and the money to like sort of put up a store, which is a problem. Um, but you all are online as well, and you all are on some big platforms. Yes. So we have our own platforms that we sell on, and then um, one of the biggest things is uh, we're one of the only Sri Lankan brands to be selling um, uh, on Amazon with a registered storefront as well. So that's a big selling point for us and, you know, we're, re we're in talks with other platforms such as ASOS and things like mm. that. So 2023-2024 uh, will be a big year for LCY London and we're looking to open up a flagship store in London as well in the next two to three years time. Um, that is the short term plan. 
short term and the long term all together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, now looking at what would you tell that a lot of youngsters who who are sort of you know lost at this junction in Sri Lanka, wondering are we actually doing the correct thing by sticking around here? And as someone who has seen the other side, mm -hmm. uh, do you feel like we are happier here? Can are we happier? Are we in a good place where we can grow and do something? Or do you think we should all jump ship and then come here? There's good and a bad to that. Uh, there's a lot that can be done here, a lot of opportunities. If you've got the creativity behind you, you know, the mindset, there's nothing really stopping you from doing anything, um, even, you know, just being here. Obviously, going there will open up more doors in terms of uh, the infrastructure and things you get to do those things. But that doesn't necessarily mean you know you can't do anything. So um, my best advice has been, even for my friends and family, has been just to you know actually work and make sure you're going abroad for a reason that you know you're happy with. Mm -hmm. Did you do a new shoot? Uh, I've done a few. Because yeah, you mentioned you wanted to do a new uh, shoot. Yeah, what yeah. was it? Um, who's Deepika's husband? Ah, yes. The book uh, thing, no? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. just wanted to be, yeah. Yeah. Just nude. <laughs> <laughs> you said that again. I was like, I'm not sure how to risk. <laughs> and uh, do you think I will be a good candidate? I mean, I don't know where the audience for that is, but why not? Audience? In Sri Lanka? Uh, you're trying to like retail my photos? Well, yeah, there's, yeah, there has to be a commercial purpose that for doing true. so. No? Like, Just imagine exhibition in London. That's it. Donald like Nude. Big, big bill, billboard. Yeah, yeah. that will be nice. Uh, great, so that's, that's, that's where we are going now with this. Uh, but you, you're not <laughs> going to mention who your secret great people were behind the camera, uh, in no. front of the camera, but I will tell you, yes. the minute you take my nude shots, you're going to uh, rethink that's... your priorities. <laughs> I'm going to go all the way there. That's it. Yeah. I have one question to ask you. Now, you told me not to ask me any scandalous questions, but I have to ask you this. Mm -hmm. Now, you're doing a nude shoot. Have you had a physical element of you that has risen to the occasion? <laughs> no. Really? No. Never? It's always professionalism first. And yeah, so wait, nobody's going to know, no? Look, I don't... You're not wearing a sarong? Why would I be? <laughs> I'm just saying, nobody's going to know. Well, sarong is the last thing I would... I don't even wear one these days. Like, you know, I don't, wouldn't trust it. Um, no. 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 So and well, I love the fact that now publicly I'm the nude photo shoot guy, is it? <laughs> no, <laughs> like anyone people. watching this, oh, he's known for that. Uh, exactly. Uh, well, you yeah, had to. I just had to ask because <laughs> it, it's an art. And, no, no. Know. So it's the same as your work. When you come in here, you flip you know, to your host character. All of them are dressed. <laughs> For now. <laughs> next next show onwards, that'll <laughs> literally on fire. <laughs> uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, I'm so happy that you're doing good and I've taken Sri Lanka with you wherever you've gone, expanded in all these creative elements that you've taken. But if you do see the bigger picture, it's like a mind map. It has, it's all interconnected in some way to what you like and it's creativity. Like, Photography complements fashion, fashion complements the fact that you need to know how to market your brand. So it really works all in all. That's it. It's always been building a tool set to yeah. use. Brilliant. Thank you so very much. I hope you enjoyed the show and I hope you're too, you know, very put together. Is it? Uh, yeah. I was just worried. Coming from you. Uh, <laughs> We all just went there. <laughs> all right, on that note, we need to wrap things up. Thank you so very much. I have to say a big thank you to the wonderful people here for hosting us. We will see you soon with another cool episode to Can't Do This No When You're Talking Bad Manners into London. But this is put together. Who? That, uh, that is true. This is because I know now somebody is <laughs> going to say, why were you pointing with the spoon when you were talking? All right, on that note, we're going to wrap things up. Thank you for joining us on the show. Take care and have a good one.